Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we'll be doing a start to finish beginner friendly hair tutorial. This one comes courtesy of Arabella Hair and they sent over this beautiful curly balayage. It's a bob wig and you guys know we're gonna slay for the gods. So if you're interested in seeing how we style this unit from start to finish, keep on watching. So here I am in my baldy. You guys already know this is how we start. And this is our beautiful wig straight out of the box. For this one, it is a 13 by 4 lace front wig. It's 12 inches in length. It includes this elastic band that's going to give you a little bit of extra hold. I'm going to go ahead and apply the wig. And this is what she looks like on. I love the fact that it's set with a darker root with no highlights all the way up top. This is going to help it to look a little bit more like luxurious sometimes when that blonde goes all the way up it just gives a little bit cheesy I'm not gonna cap so here I am just trying it on for size and just deciding how we want to slay today I'm gonna go ahead and cut off all of the excess lace around the ears this is a key step just because you don't want the wig to be like over your ears instead you want it set perfectly around and I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side we're not gonna do sideburns today but I did pull them out so you guys can see it definitely is an option we're going to jump right into the install process. I am using this Eben product. I'll have it linked in the description box. It's super affordable and more than anything, it is a glueless adhesive. So you'll be able to remove your wig and it won't leave residue and it won't be hard to, you know, remove. And of course, it'll help to save your edges. I'm going to go ahead and add a melt belt around. You can use whatever one you have on hand. Mine comes from my brand, bdeckbd.com. So of course, I have it linked in the description box. Here is what the wig looks like set as a center part I'm just playing around and trying it on for size like I said before I wasn't quite sure what I wanted um, on the site you'll see that it's set as a side part which I kind of knew was going to be like the best shot but I still wanted to make sure I didn't want a center part because again this is a free part lace wig so you can set it however you'd like you can do a half up half down center part side part deep side part curved part literally the possibilities are endless I'm also going to go in and do the dynamic duo, which is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. This step is going to just step out the parting and make it look super flat around the lace area. Here's a quick look of what the back looks like. I love the balayage on this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. I was literally so indecisive. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with my Cantu or this Baby Bliss. I believe that's the name of the brand. It's like Baby Bliss Curls, Blueberry Curls, something like that. I have both in the description box, but I did go with the Cantu leave-in. And pretty much what I'm going to do is just spray it down with a little bit of water and get it wet. And then I'm going to add the product as well. Also, I'm going to remove the melt belt because the lace I thought was dry definitely wasn't dry quite yet. So I just used a fan really quickly to finish off the drying process. Nice and quiet since my family was asleep at the moment. Now I'm going to remove all of the actual excess lace. Feel free to pluck out the hairline. I'm going to show you how I'm going to finesse and make it look super natural with a little baby hair. When you pull the excess baby hair forward, it kind of give it a little bit of a style. It kind of is a little finesse because it will give the illusion that the hair is super, super, super plucked. Like your favorite celebrity stylist plucked it for you guys. So this is just going to be a little bit of hack and I'll show you in just a moment. But here I'm just going to go ahead and um, straighten out the hairline because even though it's bonded down, that even product did get into the hair. And as you guys can see, when you put that on there and it gets dry, it will sometimes get a little bit stiff. But if you add a little bit of product like wax and then you just go ahead and straighten it out, it's kind of going to work as like a dual situation where it's going to actually straighten the hair out. But it's also going to cancel out that um, product, that hole that was on it from that hairspray. Now, as you guys see, I just pulled a little bit of hair forward and I'm going to do like micro baby hair, as I like to call it, where it's literally like too short to actually swoop or curl but it's like, it's going to give the illusion of a really, really, really slayed, like super pre plucked look. I love this because it's just very natural and all of the hairs will go in a completely different direction. You don't want this to be uniform. You just kind of want it again to just be like an effortless slay. Kind of like when you wear your natural hair and your natural baby hair kind of like just moves in different natural directions. That's the exact illusion that I want to give. And again, I'm just going to use a um, edge control to go ahead and make this work out from here we're going to use concealer this one is from Too Faced and I'm just going to add it generously 
and I'm just going to add it generously along the parting space. And this is just going to help it to look super, super slayed as always. And then we're going to use a foundation powder along the hairline. My favorite is from Ruby Kiss and I do get it from Amazon. Now, I don't like to use the same product on the hairline as well as in the parting. For some reason, I just feel like what I use in the hairline just doesn't look right in the parting and vice versa. Now I'm going to go ahead and add that Cantu product. I start off small because you're just not sure what it's going to look like or how much you're going to need. And I work it in around the entire perimeter of the head. And then I'm going to add a little bit more water because that um, water that I originally added got a little bit dry. And then from there, we're going to use the dimmer brush and just kind of clump the curls and see how much more water or product we need. This was the finished result. I really love the curl pattern on this one. I love the cut and the length. If I did not mention, this is 12 inches in length. Here I'm showing you the packaging. It did come with some free goodies inside, including your melt belt, your wig caps, this cute little clip, um, an edge brush, and your eyelashes. And this is the final result. I absolutely love how natural and gorgeous this one is. The 12 inch, the color everything about this one is absolutely amazing be sure to find it in the description box there is a direct link thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches